Welcome, this is Diane conducting Pearson Ed Excel Awards and Certificates, ESL Skills for Life, QCF. Speaking and listening, entry 3, set 1. I've got candidate A, Abioden Ajiboye, registration GR 25870. Part A, listen and respond. Please listen to what I'm going to read to you. I will ask you three questions. You can make notes. Thank you. Doctors tell us that we eat too much junk food and too many takeaways. Eat too much fat, sugar and salt. Also miss meals completely, which is not good for us. They say we should eat more home-cooked meals and smaller portions. Doctors say we should do more exercise, which is also good for our health. I will read this once again. Okay. Doctors tell us that we eat too much junk food and too many takeaways. Eat too much fat, sugar and salt. Also miss meals completely, which is not good for us. They say we should eat more home-cooked meals and smaller portions. Doctors say we should do more exercise, which is also good for our health. Thank you, Candidate Thank you. A. What is this text mainly about? It's mainly about what doctor told us about our eating habits. Thank you. And tell me three things that are wrong with what we eat. We eat too much junk food, takeaways, and salty foods. Thank you. And tell me two things doctors say we should do more of. We should eat more home cooked meals in small portions. And we should do more exercise. Thank you, candidate A. Welcome, this is Diane conducting Pearson Ed Excel Awards and Certificates, ESOL Skills for Live QCF. Speaking and listening, entry three, set one. I've got candidate B, Joe Erskine, registration GP 96071. Part A, listen and respond. Please listen to what I'm going to read to you. I will ask you three questions. You can make notes. Doctors tell us that we eat too much junk food and too many takeaways. Eat too much fat, sugar and salt. Also, miss meals completely, which is not good for us. They say we should eat more home cooked meals and smaller portions. Doctors say we should do more exercise. Which is also good for our health. I will read this once again. Doctors tell us that we 
eat too much junk food and too many takeaways. Eat too much fat, sugar and salt. Also miss meals completely, which is not good for us. They say we should eat more home cooked meals and smaller portions. Doctors say we should do more exercise which is also good for our health. Thank you, candidate B. What is this text mainly about? It's mainly about drunk food. And tell me three things that are wrong with what we eat. Sugar salt and fat and tell me two things doctors say we should do more of you should do more of exercise and cook home meal food thank you candidate B now we move on to part B, engage in discussion. You will now discuss a topic with each other. This must include indicating your views, asking each other at least one different question and answering each other's questions. The topic is healthy eating. Eating fruit and vegetables is important for good health. Government says that people should eat five different fruits and vegetables each day. Together you are to discuss what you consider to be a healthy diet. Okay. An example of what one healthy meal might be okay whether you would find it easy to follow the government's advice And finally, you must agree on the best way to encourage people to eat more healthily. I will read this once again. You will now discuss a topic with each other. This must include indicating your views, asking each other at least one different question and answering each other's questions. The topic is healthy eating. Eating fruit and vegetables is important for good health. Government says that people should eat five different fruits and vegetables each day. Together you are to discuss what you consider to be a healthy diet. An example of what one healthy meal might be. Whether you would find it easy to follow the government's advice. And finally you must agree on the best way to encourage people to eat more healthily. Okay, thank, you. thank you. Candidate thank you. A and Candidate B, you may begin your discussion. Hi Joe, my Hi. name is Abby. Um, our topic today is about healthy eating. What would you consider as healthy eating, please? Abby, what would I consider as healthy eating is uh, having a, for me, the one healthy eating, uh, having a, a portion of beans and rice, and having a maybe coleslaw, coleslaw would, is made up with a, maybe uh, carrots, okay. onions, okay. Uh, onions, carrots, onions, and uh, uh, apple. Okay. And uh, sometimes so some people may add up uh, sweet pepper. Okay. And sometimes you may decide to have a little bit of salad by the side. Okay. That's what I consider. 
to be a healthy eating. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, because there's a protein on this okay. sort of food as far as I know. Thank you. To me, what I will personally consider as healthy eating, although you've mentioned some of them, yeah. is when we eat, we eat part of fruits, some fruits and some vegetables. Yeah. It may come in, f in form of um, even banana or apple after a meal. It may also be in form of like grain peas or peas or something, because personally I don't like peas. Um, although I've mentioned what I consider as examples of healthy meals, mm -hmm. what would you consider as a healthy meal, please? A healthy meal, I'll consider a healthy meal uh, as a, having a uh, after meal, okay. having something like uh, vegetables, okay. mm -hmm. maybe it can be beans, green beans, okay. it can be green beans with a, uh, black eyed beans, okay. and uh, you can add up with a other mix of fruit, like okay. a Fruit salad, okay. okay. Banana, okay. App, uh, apple, and uh, pineapple. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think, like you mentioned about some of the African meal from because I came from Africa. Some like of the meal myself. we do, we do have some meals made out of beans. So instead yeah. of excessive carbohydrates, excessive fat or fatty yeah. food, if we eat more beans, that is pro more protein. Yeah. We eat um, vegetables like peas, whether mash pea or mushy pea or something, mm. mushy pea or something like that. So those are healthy meals. Yeah, I would call it as a balanced diet. Mm. As a balanced diet. So because the food has to be balanced with the protein and the carbohydrate and everything has to be able to be, be a, as a balanced diet. That's what I would call it as a healthy that, that's, diet. That's correct. Um, the other question around the, the discussion uh, the discussion parameter is that we should think, I mean, look at um, how easy will it be for us to follow the government guidelines yeah. about eating more healthy foods and healthy and vegetables. Yeah. To me, I think, to some degree, it, it can be easy for us if we want to discipline ourselves. For example, and the reason why I say that is if we go to some of these uh, shops, like Lidl as an example, without, I mean, some of them do all these vegetables, yeah. are very cheap. Yeah. What do you think? What I think is uh, uh, some people does not even know what is called healthy meal. Mm, okay, yeah. And uh, because they don't know, they take anything. When they go to the shop, they take anything and consider to be to them is a healthy meal. So mm. I would think of of my best of my life, I would think the government guidelines are supposed to be something. If it's possible, we can do leaflets, okay, like the way and post on the people's door, like the post office share letters and they post. And at the same time, they can do another thing, like the GPs and the schools to educate people on. Based on that, it will help because not everybody know what is called healthy meal. Absolutely. So, in you, uh, on your view, what do you think you can do to support the government view? Uh, I think uh, you, you you really answer eloquently because uh, no matter I mentioned about leaders, if there is no publicity, we may yeah. not be able to go anywhere. You mentioned about the GP, about the leaflets, sensitizing our people, giving them the right information making them realize the reason why it is important in their own interest as much as in the interest of the community yeah. to have healthy meal. Yeah. So thank you. Um, um, the last question is, I agree on the best way to encourage people to eat healthy meal. I think, to me, I think you've answered that question. I mean, you've given me more information at the all we've discussed about the information around that because how do we give people more information is by Maybe through the doctor, they go and see the doctor, the posters are there to say health, people should eat healthy, uh, telling them about the side effect of obesity, yes. uh, diabetes, yes. uh, high blood pressure, all yeah. those conditions associated to associated with um, not healthy eating. Meat, yes. So can go a long way yes. to give people more. Because in this way, it will be able to help the NHS, the the government to, be, uh, 
to calm down the deficit that they face. Because Absolutely. There, there's so much money that the government spent on this. So if they will be able to put some extra money on this uh, publicity, Excellent. then they will be years to come. They will be able to reduce everything. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, candidate A, candidate B. That's the end of your assessment.